Hello there and welcome back to Space Crew. This is it. We are ready for our final mission. The Gibbon is in top working condition. We have got all the... No, we don't have all the best escape pods. We should add all the best escape pods. I really hope that nobody has to stay behind to blow the ship up. But good. So this gives us a 90% chance of being recovered. That is very strong. There's nothing else we can really put on board. Who knows what we're going to have happen here? Who who actually knows? Uh, but we are... A, the ship is as good as it can possibly be. So let's turn our attention now to the mission. There's only one route there. This route here. One, two, three, four jumps. Four jumps. Not really sure how it's going to work. I assume if we go back to the map... Like, how is this bit going to work? Uh, I mean, oh my gosh, I don't even know. Oh, all right. This is it. Everybody, I just want to say it's been a pleasure serving with you all. You've all performed exceptionally well. Your services to Earth have been absolutely just exemplary. And now, one more time, I ask you. Just, 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 just. To give your best, just, just, just get it done. I'm not, I'm not good for, for speeches. That's why I've got inspirational speech down here. So he, so you know, I let a button do it, not me. <laughs> anyway, ah, uh, this is gonna be. I just, I just, I'm just worried I'm gonna mess it up somehow. Because like, if I abandon the ship, and to, in order to save the crew, if I think I've got to sacrifice the ship. And then stuff happens, and there's like one person or two people in here on their own. Yeah. I don't know. We'll come to that. One hurdle at a time. Here's our first jump. No doubt we're going to be f facing everything here. And Oh, well, look at that. Another ship. <laughs> no surprise. Obviously, it's one of those. Ow, that was really loud. It's one of those really... Uh... Okay. Not bringing fighter support just yet. We are going to go boost. Can you see anything? I think you can, but you too can. Oh, I need to actually do something about this. No, 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 don't do that. Do this. Okay. Let's actually make our way up here, please. Now, there is no real good way to do this, is there? Basic piloting! Ouch. That still kind of messed up our shields. Can we go back here? Yes, good. Let's blow these things up. Please. Alright, focus fires are in order now. Maximum damage. Let's please get rid of the uh, shield generators. Can we not stealth this? We probably could have stealthed this. <laughs> Is that a bit... Jammy, maybe. Right, fighter support. I think we can justify calling in fighters. We lost our aft shields. Is that aft shields? The front? I think it is. Let's start making our way down here. I reckon, yes, we've blown that up. Alright. Oh boy. Let's actually make our way down there. Oh boy. This is... <laughs> This is incredible. I hope it's just the one other ship. Though in this game, it could be pretty horrible. Alright, we're going to need to go back up power. Luckily, the gun missed there. The en enemy gun. The laser. The giant laser beam. Let's try and keep around here so we can get rid of these. Don't appear to be... Uh... Come on. Let's get rid of it. I think now's the time for evasive piloting, given the state of that. Nice. Right, swing it back. Good. Alright, how are we missing that? Come on, there we go. Another one here. Go to these generators. We might want to think about uh, an overdrive. Right, we've got it, we've got it. Problem is, Meerkat at the front. 
Our evasiveness went to zero. There we go. That's better. Something's damaged. May want to pop an overdrive. Ah, oh, what was that? Oh, that must have hurt. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Disengaging from combat. That sucks. Meerkat, keep shooting it. Repair the reactor. Right. Now's a good time for an overdrive. Gives us some more for the weapons. Kind of swing around to the side here. That's the reactor that we're going to have to destroy. The main reactor, that is. Nice. Come on. Oh. That was our lower shields that got taken out there. Keep going. We've got focus fires and boosts back and all that. Okay. Woo. Keep going, keep going. I think we're going to stealth the next section. We've lost a lot of paint on the ship. <laughs> Armor's still holding. Just about. Alright, can we get overdrive in time? I don't think we can. Okay, we're going to need to do something about this. There are plenty of shields. Oh... We need to stay back this way, actually. Shields are back. Come on. Overdrive. Oh. Come on. That's it. Keep shooting it. Keep shooting it. Yes. We did it. We did it. <laughs> they got one more shot off on us. Just out of spite. Oh my gosh. So that was part one. <laughs> All shields restored. Cooldowns are cooling. Quick repair. Quick heal up if expendable. Oh, expendable. Oh. A poor old red shirt could be. Oh, I don't even want to think about it yet. Right. How many more sectors have we got? Two more jumps. Seriously. Two more jumps till we're there, basically. Okay, let's go. Alright, okay, yeah, we get... Yeah, until... Alright. What the hell was that? What was that? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Look at that thing! There she is! Jeez, alright. Stealth mode. Please, stealth mode. I think someone tried firing at us there. Oh! Oh, this is gonna be close. Okay. Oh, that's it. There's a jump near her, near the queen, and then it goes like actually there. She sort of yeah passed it. Okay, I just realised we're actually uh, going to be we could get hit for a second or two here, but we'll be fine, I reckon. They're only right next to us. <laughs> now, by the time they get a log, we'll be out of here. Well, let's not risk upsetting the warp drive here. Yes, there's a jump near near her over here, and then there's one directly to the queen. Okay, engage. All right, we're going in full health. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, okay, hello. There's a freighter. Oh, they're setting up a jump gate. I think I just caught a bit of that. I need to pay attention to the text at the top, I think. This is not good. All right, focus. Let's focus on the task at hand. And everyone doing what they do best. More than ever. More than ever. Okay, boost on the weapons. Let's have some shields. Meerkat's now back on the gun. Well, that means focus, fire, and boost. Plenty more. Plenty more of them, baby. Bring it on. Oh, sweet. So it's setting up a jump gate. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, 
Mm, I want to see if we need them here. I think we're going to have to self-destruct. We're going to walk to her and self-destruct. I'm convinced that's what it is. Yeah. That's what it's got to be. Which means I can save the crew before I go through, right? It all depends on... We'll explode after a delay. Use only... Uh, someone's going to have to go through. Our data shows she has only one weak point. An explosion from within should destroy her. You have only one weapon that can do enough damage. Your ship's reactor. That's it. Oh my gosh. No. That cannot be. That cannot be. Don't say that. Don't say that. Defensive piloting. Oh, oh, oh. Oh gosh. Okay, boosts have gone. We need backup power for extra damage. Okay, keep it up people, keep it up. Oh my gosh. That's it. Okay, the freight is gone. Or going. That's the jump gate. There's something else around here. There. Oh, hello. Boarding craft. Thank you very much, freighter. Setting up that jump gate for us. That's just a blob of lasers. Okay, now everyone's doing fine. Everyone's doing more than fine. Everyone's doing very well. Okay. Okay, finish them off, people. Oh, don't be too quick about it. Oh, well done, well done. Good job, Bella. Those are the lasers. I'll stay near the jump gate. Okay, I think we're doing fine. We've only got a few left, right? How many? Still about six or so. So therefore, hang on, we can use stuff because if we are just using self-destruct here I assume yeah we're not going to be fighting from this point onwards at least after this point I mean which means we can throw whatever we want at them everybody boost this is clearly the big one everybody do what you do best nine good firing Oh boy, is that it? That's it. What now? What now? Ah, there it is. This will be a one-way ticket for those who stay on board. Humankind will be forever in your debt. All right, this is it. Gunners, you're out. Bella, thank you. Andrea, thank you. Aaron, thank you. Meerkat, thank you. Spoon, thank you. That leaves B an expendable. Technically, if he just has to use self-destruct, he can fly it in. Or I can fly it in, because I'm the captain. No, expendable, I'm not listening to what you say. Get out of here, man. Get out of here, expendable. Go. I'm telling you, you've got to go. Captain, let me do it. It's in my name. No, expendable, no. It's okay. Thank you. It's been a privilege, sir. We'll never forget what you've done here today, expendable. Anyway, enough roleplay, let's go. <laughs> Damn it, why am I so slow? Oh boy, Expendable, you, have you ever flown this thing before? You... Well, obviously not. Okay, auto recovery chance, 86%. This is it. They're going, here they go. Oh, there they are. Well done, everyone. Oh, Expendable. How could you? Your noble sacrifice. <laughs> I mean, you were just here to expend, but you won our hearts over. The ultimate red shirts. All right. This is it. Ah! Oh, let we go right in the mouth. You must activate your ship self-destruct. Okay. Go, go. 
Can we still get you out of here? I don't think we can. Oh, we have to hold it. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Expendable. I'm sure we're all teary-eyed in our pods here. Oh. I hope those weren't our pods being shot out of the sky. <laughs> Phasmid Queen defeated. Damn, that is bittersweet. The Gibbon is destroyed. That's a shame. It's not going to be like the Enola Gay where it's in a... Well, I say... I like the Enola Gay is like a heroic ship. It's not. It's a symbol of utter destruction. But, you know, a famous ship that would be in a museum someday. Abandoned ship. That's the first time I've used that. Oh, we may not even make it back. Okay, I've made it back. Spoon? You've made it back. Expendable's gone. Meerkat, you've made it back. Aaron, you've made it back. Bella, you've made it back. And Andrea, you've made it back. You've all made it back. It's just Mr. Expendable. It's gone. You can't see me, but I'm saluting him right now. Damn, that is sad. I would have stayed, but he insisted. He, he insisted. Well, at least it means we'll all be in XCOM. I mean, even if everyone died, I still wouldn't have treated this like a permadeath. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, the ship started off as the Gibbous Moon, didn't it? Then it became the Gibbon. There we are, when we defeated all the different uh, bounties. First mothership destroyed. There we are. Lighter armor. And this is with Andrea joining the team. First Deep Space Explorers. Defeated Valadu Apocuts. Further deep space exploration. Into Phasmid space, I, I take it. Vorb Kib. Do you remember which one that is? I don't. <laughs> Can't remember who was who. Oh, I remember you. You have the little tri fighter thingy, the little. with the EMP charge. Ugh. And that was the mine layer one, Tuxim. Bit of a pain as well. Task Force Alpha Escape Recovery. Yep, it was the same crew throughout. The same crew throughout. First Phasmid Nebula Explorers. Defeated Cachea Poros. And these were some of the tougher bounties. Not that they were tough by our standards. Oh, do you remember Fat Al? <laughs> I remember Fat Al. You remember Fat Al. <laughs> it was a short time. But it was a good time, actually. Because uh, we won. And there's Carl Slab, who I think was the last one. Saved Earth. And there's the crew behind saving Earth. Well, there you have it. That was Space Crew. I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did. It was a lot of fun. Um, I mean, I feel I wish they kind of did a bit more with it. I guess it was basically more of Bomber Crew. You can't really go wrong with that. The price tag is fair for the game. I, I would certainly recommend it if you get it for, like, on sale. 20% off or something like that. Absolutely. Even its full price, it's probably worth it. Um, really good. A lot of fun. Absolute chaos. Absolute chaos. I, I think I got kind of kind of lucky, I suppose. I'm glad I added that extra crewman. You definitely need that extra crewman. Six crew is... Otherwise, you can never use the skills that the engineer has. So you kind of have to have crew all around, I, I reckon. Uh, but yeah, I mean, maybe I might try this again with with six crew on Panic Station's difficulty. I won't record it. It'll just be my own little personal project. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice if they did something more with, uh, I guess, skill development, perhaps skill trees or something, I don't know. Uh, uh, more mission variety, perhaps? I, I want them to do a more fleshed out game next, I think. That'd be good. Oh, look at that! Earth was saved. Earth was saved. And there's still pigeons in the year 2160. That's no surprise. Everyone's having a nice picnic. Very good. And there we are. We, we've long gone at this point. 
Wait, what was the original year? I can't remember what it was. <laughs> uh, well, that was a lot of fun. Um, that concludes this playthrough, obviously. Uh, next is XCOM. XCOM uh, Lone War of the Chosen, which is the DLC. So it's the DLC for XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, plus a separate mod called Lone War. And it's an experimental mod, so it's going to be very buggy here and there, probably. Um, but they, they find out, it's still in beta that mod, but it's they find out a lot of things in it. I'm not going to add too many mods to it, but you're all invited, you're all going to be in it. Expendable? I don't know, Expendable, Mr. Expendable can't be in it, but maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe there's, uh, maybe Mr. Expendable had a son we didn't know about. Hmm. To carry on the legacy of being the ultimate red shirt that we all love. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when it comes to... XCOM, there's no obligation to watch it if you're if it's not your thing whatsoever. I do it because it's just my favourite game of all time. And I enjoyed the Long War 2 mod for the base release of XCOM, but it was very laggy. Um, I also didn't really know what I was doing. I, well, actually, I kind of did, but I was, I was still sucky at it because I play it on the hardest difficulty. But uh, but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And it's absolute chaos. It, it's just... you thought If you thought this was chaos... Well, this is... Uh, XCOM 2 uh, at any moment you could just be in way over your head and you're looking at soldiers you've done many campaigns with just dying like that um, another rule I have when it comes to my XCOM playthrough actually is permadeath if you die in it you never appear in an XCOM playthrough again I treat it very I always treat it quite seriously I suppose uh, so yeah if you die in it that's it you, you never appear in XCOM so not like in other playthroughs uh, I'm actually going to leave a little link in the description below in case you're wondering what the game is like. Uh, I know Spoon, you've not seen it yourself, so I've put one mission in there that was a pretty exciting mission. That was just, uh, it wasn't the Lone War mods, but, so the gameplay is slightly different, but it was War of the Chosen, so it had all sorts of random enemies, and I think it was quite a heavily modded playthrough, but a lot of fun. And that mission, um, yeah, it was just a very, very dicey mission, uh, a really good one to watch, I think. and. Uh, the thing is, all my old XCOM playthroughs are all on my old computer, so the game runs quite slowly. Whereas on this, it's it's fine, because it's my new desktop computer. That was an old gaming laptop from about four years ago. 2016, I think I got it. So, yeah, that the old playthroughs are very difficult to watch. Not to mention the awful audio quality. Not that this is any good, but it's considerably better than what it used to be. Uh, but yeah, that playthrough, uh, Andrea, that also features... Sorry, the, the video I'm going to leave in the description below, that features Igor from the Gears Tactics playthrough. He actually appears on this mission uh, that I'm going to leave in the description below. So up to you if you want to watch it, just to get just to do a bit of homework. As for when I start the playthrough, I'm not too sure. It's probably going to come out after Christmas, I think. Because I'm going to be taking a little bit of time off. Um, I need to stay at home for a little bit and do a few a few things. But uh, yeah, I'll probably start it just after Christmas. I'm probably going to upload three times a week because it's a very long playthrough, so I'm going to need to churn it out, especially if I want to do it in, you know, by the time XCOM 3 come, comes out, which I, I predict is next year. There's no word of it, but, you know, it's a, such a long playthrough. It's going to be at least 100 parts. That's how long it's going to be. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it'll be very entertaining. Uh, it's a game I love, so yeah, I'm going to stick with it, like I have with past playthroughs. I do like to see playthroughs uh, through if I can. Uh, so yeah, anyway, thank you very much for joining me. It has been an absolute pleasure, and uh, I'm going to miss this crew. I'm going to really miss this crew. It was so much fun. We might have to, uh, I might bring back Bomber Crew at some point, bring back the same crew, and um, yeah, for a playthrough someday, because Bomber Crew is such a fun game too. I think I prefer Bomber Crew just a little bit more than Space Crew. But maybe because I was expecting just a tiny bit more from Space Crew. I could see why people would find it horribly repetitive. Whereas I didn't die, I had no, I, I didn't, I had problems, but I didn't die. I had, I lost no crew, I didn't lose a ship. And that really sets you back and you have to do a bunch of things again. So, whereas I didn't have that. So I had new mission types kind of fairly consistently. But, uh, I can see why other people might have a problem with it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see all of you noble warriors of humanity in XCOM. Take it easy. See ya.